Well, today is the sixth. I went and did my taxes. But, uh, made a couple phone calls today. Had to. Had to figure this thing out. Dear Mr. Taylor, your application for a Virginia non-resident concealed weapon handgun permit is denied. <clears throat> the denial is based on a 2005 misdemeanor conviction in the state of South Carolina for the offense of contributing to the delinquency of a minor in violation of South Carolina Code Section 1617-490, which resulted in a three-year suspended sentence. Persistent to Title 18 of the United States Code Section 922-G1, an individual convicted of any misdemeanor offense that is punishable by more than two years is prohibited to possess a firearm even if the maximum punishment was not received. When I got arrested at uh, Huddle House and ended up going for that ride with the sheriff that I knew, <laughs> the charge was contributing to delinquency of a minor. Yes, it was. Falsified statements of uh, beating up my children and all this other garbage. Well, told you the story on that in the previous thing, where once the judge you know, read the charge to me, and my answer was, and uh, it's just keep on coming. Uh, that kind of blew the judge away, and he kind of chuckled about it. He saw the sense of humor in it. Of course, the ex and that copy whoppy husband didn't. But I got my bail bond, and Got a lawyer for $4,000, Todd Manley. We went to court. And the contempt of court was already there. The contempt was already there. Now, the contempt of court was me disobeying court by taking my children to church. Okay. After that contempt, I never saw my children, except under the watchful eyes of DSS and the rest of those people. But this contributing to delinquency of a minor was something out in left field. Happened about 9, 10, 12 months after the contempt. But the way they explained it to me was they were going to throw this out. But even the contempt, which carries the same thing as contributing to delinquency of minor, because what the state did they took the two and put them together. And that's what they did when I went in front of it at that jury trial and pled guilty to the contempt. That's where I got my three years of uh, probation. It was either that or go to jail for eight years because of the contempt. So, I guess I'll never own a firearm, and I'm happy with it. I am. You know, less of a finance, less of a hassle. Now I can travel in peace. 
I think I will, however, get a switchblade knife. One that the blade actually shoots out of the end. So I can just hold it up to a person and push a button and the blade will go straight out instead of whipping around it'll go straight out, straight in. I think that'll be a better defense for me. At least I'll feel safer. So anyway, I just thought I'd throw this out. So anyway, at least I found out the truth behind that. So, anyway, well, let me get this out, and we'll see what happens in the future. I'm still planning on leaving here in July. I'm going to go to Los Angeles, spend a few days out there, probably get a hotel room out there, and then go to Vegas. And what I'm thinking about doing in Vegas is finding a... Uh, cheap hotel room where <laughs> I know they got them there for about a hundred a week and uh, yeah I think I will enjoy life in Vegas living in a hotel where maid maid service comes in changes my sheets and gives me fresh towels and that every day so I'm thinking about doing something like that Plus the fact that I can walk around Vegas and walk around all the casinos and just watch the fools lose their money. So, anyway, just thought I'd bring you up to date on that concealed weapon thing. Have a good night and may God bless. Yep, still got it. Think I'm going to keep it for a while. Anyway, talk to you later.